What's going on everybody? Today I'm bringing to you something pretty big. This is the Star Wars Black Series First Order uh, Riot Control Baton Force FX series. The Force FX Riot Control Baton. It's it's so big. Look, like I have to I had to zoom out pretty far and and kind of set up a different camera angle just to capture the box. Thing is monstrous. $200. It's an expensive item. I don't know if it's going to be cool enough to really justify that cost, so I took a gamble on this one. I did pick this up at my local Think Geek store, so if you have a Think Geek store near you, you can probably find one there. It's also a great store to go check it out and just kind of walk around and look at stuff. But yes, we're going to take a look at this thing, so let's dive right in. Alright, so we've got it down here on the table now and just on the back you kind of get a another look at uh, the uh, 08 Force FX Ride Control Baton. Um, that's the back of the box. It looks like it comes with a nice little stand as well. And we got FN2199 here on the cover over there. Uh, the front does open up to give us another view. Uh, and here we can see FN2199 swinging this thing around like a champ. This is, uh, and, and you can actually come in here and get a, a close-up look. So if you do see this one at the store, you can check it out and get a look at the hardware. Some nice rubber grips over here. You can see the handle, and then there's this stand over here, and uh, it says Star Wars on it, because in case you didn't know where this came from. Now let's go ahead and open up the box. All right, so this part, once we undo the tape, it slides out pretty, pretty smoothly. And we have... Uh, Packaging in here, uh, we have a little booklet, a little instruction manual talking about how to operate it right here, and we've got our stand right there. Uh, we have a couple of other pieces right here. Let's see, what are these? I think these are probably parts to the stand. Yeah, it looks like that. they're going to probably go in there. Right, let's see what else we've got. Got another piece, which looks like it's another part to the stand. Understandable. Understandable. Oh, that's so corny. And we've got another piece right here, which I don't know what this one is. Looks like it's yet another piece of the stand, and it's probably if you want to display it um, extended or not. All right, let's go ahead and we can't open this up yet because it's. Uh, Got these little tags locking in it. All right, so I've got it out now, and the first thing I want to talk about is the weight. It's really weighted here in the back. It's it's pretty heavy, and it feels very um, very like heavy duty on this part. This part up here feels very flimsy. If you, as you can see, they're they're like it's thin plastic. This part is very much like a child's toy plastic, whereas this part over here is more like a collectible and a lot more uh, hardcore uh, as far as just like heavy, durable, thick, rugged. Um, we have a safety switch under here, uh, which will keep it from extending. We have the button here, which will go ahead and activate it. We've got a little pike or a little poker here if you want to need to poke your enemy in the eye. Um, this is real hard rubber right here in this part. It actually has a really good feel to it. Same thing on this part. It has a really good rubberized feel down here. So if you're if you're ma manipulating it and spinning it around and doing your moves, uh, this is very good to grip uh, on this section. Uh, and now moving up, we uh, these parts, I think these parts are going to light up because this does take batteries. And the part at the front here, um, there's a little light sensor and speaker in here, and to collapse this, you're going to push these two in, and they're going to go in. Now they'll spin right back out, so you have to push them in, and they will lock in. Alright, so now here is the riot control baton fully collapsed, and uh, if you, I believe if you hit the safety, Oh, well, there you go. And then you can push the button and it will spin back out. Now, 
if uh, there's like clicks in here, so if for some reason you get one and it doesn't click into the right spot, you just have to force it a little bit and, uh, and then it should go into the right spot. Now, I did a little test run on it first and they can kind of become dislodged from their track. So uh, if you push the buttons in, there we go. Yeah, the first time I did it, they, uh, they basically one was sticking out. So I had to push it back in a little bit and then it clicked and uh, locked it into place. Um, not really a big deal, but I'm gonna try and put some batteries in here and see how it works. All right, so the back end where that little eye poker was, this part comes out and you're gonna get this uh, piece right here, which is very much, very similar if you've got any of the Force FX lightsabers. Uh, and you just put your, your batteries in there and it looks like it goes that way. Yep, there's only one way I can go in. And then you can put this in. And we should be good to go. So let's go ahead and do a full-blown test of this thing. All right, so I've got this thing. I do like the feel of it. Um, it spins around real easy, uh, and I like the, how smooth the handle is. I can spin it around uh, very easy. Well, yeah, there we go. As long as, it, oh, oh, although eventually it feels like it will start to slip out of my hand. It's, it's, and you can hit yourself, which is, I guess, a good thing that this is uh, more softer plastic because I'm going to hit myself a whole bunch shouting things like traitor at my kids when they don't do their chores. You didn't empty the dishwasher? Traitor! Like, that is pretty cool. All right, all right. So, um, all right, so the, the safety on here, it's got the black side. No, 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 what are you doing? And then the red side. So you want it on the red side. There we go. Uh, and I guess, so if it's on the red side, you can have it on display. And if you push this button, it's just going to do this. Let's see if this works. Okay. So sound comes on. We see the lights on there. And there's a little hum. Oh, and then at the slightest touch, it, it, it activates. So it's not supposed to do that. Hold on, let's try and do it right. Very sensitive, I will say that. And this is not exactly movie accurate because I believe in the movie these actually just slide straight out instead of spinning around. But it is what it is. It's, uh, it still looks cool. All right, so, and then if we have it on the red side, where it's ready to come out, you push the button, and here it goes. Wait, there we go. It, it does it automatically. So this is this is pretty cool. It's almost like it's got electricity in there. Can you see that? The pattern of the lights, it's it's flashing blue and white. Very cool. Uh, the whole thing vibrates too. It feels very cool. My only criticism is that this part is a little bit wobbly. However, I'm digging it, man. It feels really cool. It's, it's very cool, and, and especially since now, if you have two force effects weapons, you can have lightsaber and force baton in one hand. And they both make noise, too. So the, the cool thing is, it also has the motion sensor in it. So as you bump it into things, as you move it around, it's going to mimic sound effects. And you can grab it here. You can fight like this, you can fight like that. And then to turn it off, you're gonna hit this button again and hold it for three seconds. There it goes. Very cool, now you have to do this when you're done. I am digging it. Let's check it out, uh, let's set it up on the display and then we'll do some comparisons between this and uh, one of the Force FX lightsabers. All right, so here I've got, this is the Luke Skywalker, or Anakin's, uh, lightsaber, and it's on its stand. Now, the stand that came with that was just this regular little one, and you could do it a couple of ways. I had mounting stuff, um, and, you know, yeah, I basically just set it on there. You can also put the lightsaber itself through here and have it do fancy stuff, but the stand was just kind of normal. So now if you compare it to this stand, it is much nicer. Um, that is, and, and this is kind of a heavy stand. It's got some uh, padded uh, bottom parts on it too so it won't uh, scrape against your furniture and it, this part I guess these two parts are depending on which way you want to face it if you want it to go that way you put this part there and put that part on the other side um, I don't know but but this but it locks in right here and there you go and then you can turn that safety on I believe the black sign is right and then just hit it one time 
There we go. And it will just stay on for a little while. So you can just turn it on, let the lights come on without it. But just be very careful with it because remember it could bump and uh, could go full blown. Um, you know, you don't want it to extend while it's on your shelf and then knock over perhaps other collectibles. So pretty cool weapon. I'm going to have to do some, uh, you know, take a lot of the props and the deluxe, uh, you know, Hasbro stuff I've got and make some backyard uh, Jedi, Infinity Gauntlet, Darth Vader, lightsaber, force effects, baton, nerf gun stuff. All of these things. Oh, you know what? Let's compare it. Let's, let's pull up the nerf gun, too. All right, just for consistency, here is the Nerf Rivals First Order Stormtrooper Blaster Rifle. Uh, and they're close in size, as a matter of fact. Uh, coloring is everything, you know, is correct. And it'd be kind of cool to have both of those now. All I need at this point is, I think, a First Order Stormtrooper costume, and I'm ready to go. Uh, which is pretty, pretty cool. I may have to look into that. Um, so there you go. Well, let me know what you guys think. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think down in the comments below. What do you want to see reviewed next? Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for all of your support. I want to big, give big thanks to my patrons on there. There will be more giveaways coming out soon, so make sure you're subscribed and click that bell for alerts so you don't miss out on any of the other giveaways. I do have some going on right now for my Star Wars Armada videos. I'm giving out a core set and that will be announced in about two more weeks, so stay tuned for that. I want to thank you all so much for watching and I as always, have a great day.